<laughs> oh my god, take it out of sport mode. That was too much fun. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London. If you watched yesterday's video, you would have seen that I was down at Southern Sky Motors collecting the Lamborghini LP560 Bicolori. Now I am literally cut, finished, signed off from that video and starting again as I take this for a first drive. This is an e-gear automatic, I have not driven it before. This is gonna be completely genuine um, and I'm gonna go for a drive with Jack in the rose gold GTR. I think you're going to be a lot faster than me because I'm, I'm, I'm scared to drive it. I'm actually scared to drive it. 5.2 litre, 560 brake horsepower. Luckily, it is four wheel drive and we have got a beautiful day. So um, what's left for me to do now is to jump into the car, screw you up to the suction mount, and then let's go for a drive. Oh, that is going to be the setup. Let's go for a drive. Right, so here we go. I'm sat in the car and I'm just going to make sure that I'm comfortable. And how this works is put your foot on the brake, turn the wheel slightly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to drive into you. Jack is there. We've just had a bit of a photo shoot. And there we go. Let's start it up. Slip into first gear and roll. And so in this car, there is no take your foot off the brake and I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous. Ah! <laughs> okay, so there's no um, lunge forward on the brakes. It is a case of putting your foot on the accelerator and it finds the biting point yourself. We've got Jack behind in the rose gold Nissan GTR. And do I put the nose lift up turning out of here? There's a car coming. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm really excited, but at the same time, I'm also really quite nervous about the fact that I'm driving this car. I've made it out without scratching. Are we good to go? Here we go. The first few miles in the Lamborghini Gallardo LP560. The first gear change. Ah! <laughs> Can't believe this is happening. I need to put the window up. Right, I really cannot believe this is ha actually happening. The car feels so low. I need to set the wing mirror up. There we go. The car feels so low. Oh my God, we've got an awesome view. We've got a rose gold Nissan GTR. We've then got the stolen images, Astra, which is basically the same car that I own. And then we've got a white BMW i8 that's cruising with us. What's going on? You can tell by my voice now that I'm really excited. I'm also really nervous because this road isn't the nicest of roads to drive, especially your first few miles in a Lamborghini. I'm sure if uh, you're an experienced driver, then it'll be absolutely a load of fun. But like I said in the collection video, I haven't driven my R8 or anything that powerful in quite some time. So to jump back in and be driving a 560 brake horsepower Lamborghini, my mind is blown away. I've got the number plates on, Unlike last time when I had the R8 and I forgot to take them off. Let's do some downshifts. Oh, and where's the... Um... I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm going. I'm scared. Ah! Let's put my foot down. For quite some time on Supercars of London, over the last two or three months, I've been saying that these videos are about to step up, the daily vlogs are going to get even better. 
today, Supercars of London has stepped up a gear, ladies and gentlemen. I am currently driving a 2011 Lamborghini LP560 that is mine. It is mine. It is my second supercar. It's a downshift. <laughs> oh my god. What is happening? I just keep questioning everything that's going on. How am I driving a Lamborghini? Why am I driving a Lamborghini? <laughs> well, how much fuel have I got? I don't even know where the fuel thing is. Oh, there. I've got less than half a tank. Am I even going to get back to Orford? I don't know. <laughs> Oh my god, this is the best video I've ever filmed. And I hope this is the best video that I've ever edited. And hopefully this is the best video on YouTube that you've ever watched. <laughs> this is what I've been waiting for for so long. But also you guys, I never in a million years thought that the day that I was going to be picking up a Lamborghini, I'd be sharing it with 235,000 subscribers. Whew. I'm getting a bit lightheaded now. I'm having too much fun. Slap my wrist. <laughs> wow. So the collection video was obviously a huge, a huge deal for me. And this is the first drive. This is the first time that I've driven this car. Southern Sky Motors offered for me to drive this car before I bought it as a test drive. Um, but I said, no, I want this to be a genuine video. The first time I ever drive this car. I want it to be genuine, I want this to be the first time that I ever drive the car on camera for you guys. I'm probably going to do a first fuel stop as well like I did with the R8 and fingers crossed I don't break any buttons and, and have to go to SB. But wow. How am I doing on the, on the width side of things? I'm doing quite well. This car is actually quite small. It's quite nice and nimble and, and, and compact. It's a compact car. And. Uh, I suppose I could use this opportunity to, to talk to you guys quickly about how dreams can come true. If you have a dream and you believe in that dream, then this is living proof that dreams come true. I started YouTube at the age of 15 years old, jumping out of trees into bushes, not really knowing what I was going to do. I had no idea what career I was going to take, whether I was going to go to university. I just went through, I did my GCSEs, I did my A-levels, and then that was when I was like, I need to go to university and do business. I want to start my own business, but I still had no idea how it was going to happen. And then the bigger and the more work that I put into Supercars of London, the more hours I spent walking around London, the miles I spent, or the miles I walked in central London filming, the amount of times that I went to London with gloves on my fingers, two pairs of gloves on my fingers and a coat just to film cars, to bring back some content to edit and put on Supercars of London YouTube channel. I always had the dream of owning a Lamborghini by 15, uh, by 25, or oh, by 15 would have been amazing, but I always had the dream of owning a Lamborghini before I was 25. And as, as much as I say somehow I've been able to do it, there has been so many hours that you guys probably don't see. I, I work from eight o'clock till 11, 12, sometimes even one o'clock in the morning. And just to get these videos edited, made, created, social media happens 24 seven. There's not really an evening when I'm not on social media. And there's things that have been compromised and sacrificed for this moment of me driving a Lamborghini for the first time. But I have to say that this hard work that is on camera and off camera, and the hours that have been spent trying to get to this dream of owning a Lamborghini by 25 has paid off. And by no means does that mean that I'm gonna stop, it means that I'm gonna be working harder. Now I've got this car, the videos that I can create are gonna be so much better. The places that I can go are gonna be even more amazing. And the opportunities that are gonna be open to me are gonna be that bit better. So for the last five years, six years, seven years on Supercars of London, the stuff that has happened has led to this moment and now it is going to be taken to the next level and the daily vlogs are going to be better the 
content that I create is going to be better, it's going to be more fun, it's going to involve a bloody Lamborghini. And they're just, like, without going into a sentimental acceptance speech or a thank you, just I want to thank all of you guys that have been watching and sticking with me and supporting me, but everyone in my family who has believed in me or even not believed in me, that, that has then motivated me to get to my dream. The people that have said that it's impossible to get a Lamborghini by 25 without having a, a normal job or a steady income or any of those things, it just motivated me to actually go and do it and have the power to be able to go and buy a Lamborghini. And uh, it's just insane. It is utterly insane that this is happening right now and this video is being created as I feel the gear changes go down as I come to a stop and just try and try and come to terms with what is going on right now. The most crazy thing out of everything is the fact that I've also picked up the daily car that is going to be my daily run around, the thing that's going to get me from A to B that saves the mileage on this car. This car... Oh. <laughs> Jack is smiling behind. <laughs> me rolling back. Not knowing the gear shift. The whole journey is going to be documented and I'm going to be driving home back to Watford on the M25. We've got some country roads at the moment which... I'm trying to play around with the car, trying to get used to the throttle. Unlike the R8 V10 Spider that I had from Audi UK, this car is a lot harder. On the suspension, on the accelerator, it's a lot more immediate. The throttle on the R8 was just a bit, a bit, a bit, a little bit more chilled out, a little bit softened, as was the suspension. This car is not a sports car. It is a thorough supercar. It is built to go fast and not built for anything else. I can imagine this car is probably quite uncomfortable over a period of time, but I don't care. I do not care at all. I'm just gonna play around with the, the aircon because it is blowing out Arctic temperatures. Ah! How do I do it? It is blowing out Arctic temperatures, right. Should I put it in sport mode? Sport mode enabled. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh my God, take it out of sport mode. That was too much fun. <laughs> Oh, and there comes the GTR, right up my arse again. <laughs> it's now time for a little bit of town driving. And I reckon when someone said that 15 years ago, in a Lamborghini Diablo or even older, you would have started sweating and getting a little bit nervous. But I'm confident that this is a good city car. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think the steering is quite heavy, but that's to implement how good this car is as, as steering. Um, but, oh, we've got an underpass as well. I'm gonna have to downshift. Ready, build the revs up. <laughs> a young kid <laughs> driving a very, very, very fast car. So, I am on the M25 in my Lamborghini. <laughs> Even that just does not make, it doesn't come off my tongue how I expected it to. It just sounds weird, my Lamborghini. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the first drive of this car, the Lamborghini LP560 Bicolori. There is going to be so many fun videos with this car. Whatever I get up to, I hope that you guys can continue joining me on my journey and supporting the Supercars of London YouTube channel for daily vlogs in the Lamborghini. This is a dream, dream come true. And I just want to say thank you to everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've talked probably a bit too much. I should have just been enjoying this car. <laughs> Listen to the, the tarmac on this road. It's horrible. 
Anyway, the tarmac is probably going to smooth it out in a little bit, but I just want to say thank you very, very much. I hopefully you've enjoyed the last two videos. And as this is filmed on the same collection day, I still have no idea how the collection video is doing. So I'd just like to thank everyone who's tuning into Supercars London on a daily basis and supporting the daily vlogs because they're going to carry on going because you guys love them so much. So thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow for another video. Whether or not, whether it will feature the Lamborghini or not, who knows, but today has been a very, very good day, so thank you very much for being a part of it and sharing it with me. Beautiful tire back! Yes! Like I said, this is a really special day, so thank you. Thank you so much for everyone who is sharing it with me. I will see you guys tomorrow. The biggest day of my life, picking up a Lamborghini. Shown his car on my YouTube channel. Listen, I'm taking a picture. My beast. Oh, and there's another uh, beast.